I'm Adil Kumar. We are exploring complex numbers in rectangular form. We understand that a complex number could be written in the form of A plus BI, where A and B are real numbers, right? Where A and B belongs to set of real numbers. Pure imaginary numbers are those where A is equal to zero. So we get the complex number in the form of BI. Equal complex numbers means that the real parts are equal and the imaginary parts are equal. Then the complex numbers are equal. And the conjugate complex numbers are those where the, the sign of the imaginary part is reverse. So we'll actually elaborate on these two points in this particular video, right? So let us take an example and understand when are two complex numbers equal, right? So we'll take up an example for, uh, let's say we write down an equation and let's say we have 3x minus 4y equals to 2 minus 3i. Now these are 4yi, let me write down, okay. So we have two complex numbers. The first one is 3x minus 4yi. The other one is 2 minus 3i. Now if these two are equal, in that case, the real part, which is 3x, should be equal to 2. And the complex part, which is minus 4y, should be equal to minus 3, right? So that is what we mean, that when two complex numbers are equal, their real parts are equal, and their complex parts are equal. Now, this always helps us to find the values of x and y, the unknowns. So basically, from here, we'll get two equations to work with. So basically we get, uh, whenever we are working on equal complex numbers, you may get into situations where we may have uh, a system of equation to work with, right? So system of equations, and these equations will be real, with real numbers, right? So here 3x equals to 2, minus 4y equals to minus 3 are the two equations. We can find the value of x as equals to 2 over 3 and the value of y equals to minus 3 over minus 4, which is 3 over 4. So for these equations to be true, x should be equal to 2 over 3 and y should be equals to 3 over 4, correct? So that is how you can actually compare the equations. Here is a practice question for you. Let us say we have half x minus 3yi is equal to is equals to let's say 3 minus let's say 4 i okay let's plus 3 plus 4 i find the value of x and y so that this equation is equal these equations are equal right so that is the first part to understand how to find an equation or value of the variables when the two equations are equal right now let's have a few examples on conjugate of complex numbers. So now we'll consider conjugate. So what you need to do is you need to write conjugate of following complex numbers, right? So let's say, let's write down a few examples. Let's say we have uh, 3 plus 5y. Let's say another example is uh, minus 2 minus 2y. Right, and uh, something like this, or we could have, let me change this sign now. Uh, so we'll have C as minus five plus three I. Okay, so let us say we have these three equations. We need to write the conjugate. So conjugate will be the one with this sign reversed, okay? So the conjugate for three plus five I will be three minus five I, okay? In this particular case, we do not say change the sign of the real part. Real part remains same, but the complex part, that sign changes from minus to plus. It becomes 2i with a plus sign. And the last one will be minus 5 minus 3i. So that is how you write the conjugate of any complex number, right? So I hope that gives you a good idea of how to work with rectangular form of complex numbers, especially when we are talking about the complex numbers, when are they equal and how to write their conjugates. 
Amadil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.